Good morning, good afternoon, good evening a todos mis curiositos y curiositas del inglés que hoy estáis aquí porque os encanta esto de hacer dictados. Ya sabéis que hay una lista de reproducción en el canal dedicada exclusivamente a test y dictados y también hay una lista de reproducción donde podéis encontrar todos estos dictados que vamos haciendo que son vídeos para mejorar el listening. Hoy te traigo un pequeñito texto de alrededor de 120, 130 palabras, más o menos, ¿vale? Yo creo que son más bien 120, con el que vamos a ver el uso de past simple, pasado simple, con past continuous, pasado continuo. Vocabulario muy básico, un texto muy facilito, creo que lo vais a poder seguir sin ningún tipo de problema y ya sabes, después del dictado, quédate, no pauses porque te viene la solución para que puedas comprobar tus errores. Así que, si ya estás listo, coge lápiz y papel y ponte la pila porque comenzamos ya mismo con este dictado. Comenzamos. Becky was visiting her sister Pam repito Becky was visiting her sister Pam at her house at her house sigo at the beach stop repito toda la frase Becky was visiting her sister Pam at her house at the beach. Punto. Stop. It was a beautiful Beautiful summer day. Stop. Repito. It was a beautiful summer day. Punto. Stop. Becky had built a giant sand castle repito que se va complicando Becky had built a giant sand castle that morning stop Repito todo esto último. Becky had built a giant sand castle that morning. Punto. Seguimos. Pam took pictures of the castle. Repito. Pam took pictures of the castle to send to their parents. Stop. Hacemos una pausita. Repito esto último. Pam took pictures of the castle to send to their parents. Punto. I continue. Continuamos. It was 
a great big sand castle. Stop. Repito. It was a great big sand castle. ¿Cómo vamos? ¿Bien? Venga, vamos a por lo que nos queda. Nos queda otro poquito. Later that morning. Later that morning, coma. Becky and Pam went swimming in the ocean. Stop. Repito todo esto. Later that morning, Becky and Pam went swimming in the ocean. Stop. It was fun to jump with the waves. Stop. I repeat. It was fun to jump with the Waves. Stop. Then, coma, they went, then, coma, they went in the house and ate sandwiches. And ate sandwiches and melon for lunch. Stop. Repito esto último. Then, coma, they went in the house and ate sandwiches and melon for lunch. Stop. Becky wanted to play. Becky wanted to play on the beach that afternoon. Stop. I repeat. Becky wanted to play on the beach that afternoon. Stop. Pam told her Pam told her it was too hot. Pam told her it was too hot to go outside without a hat on. Stop. To go outside without a hat on. Repito toda la frase. Becky told her it was too hot to go outside without a hat on. Stop. Continuamos. Becky didn't have a hat. Becky didn't have a hat. Stop. Pam told her Pam told her not to worry. 
not to worry, coma. She could, she could wear one of hers. Stop. Pam told her not to worry, coma. She could wear one of hers. Full stop. Punto final. He ido muy despacito. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo os va saliendo esto de los dictados? Os traigo justo ahora la corrección para que podáis chequear vuestros errores. Dejadme en comentarios si queréis que haga más textos, si queréis que vaya un poquito más rápido, un poquito más despacio. Y por supuesto, comentadme qué tal os ha salido. ¿Quieres más dictados? Pues suscríbete. Vamos a ver qué tal lo has hecho. Becky was visiting her sister Pam at her house at the beach. It was a beautiful summer day. Becky had built a giant sand castle that morning. Pam took pictures of the castle to send to their parents. It was a great big sand castle. Later that morning, Becky and Pam went swimming in the ocean. It was fun to jump with the waves. Then they went in the house and ate sandwiches and melon for lunch. Becky wanted to play on the beach that afternoon. Pam told her it was too hot to go outside without a hat on. Becky didn't have a hat. Pam told her not to worry. She could wear one of hers.